A brawl at a New Jersey high school basketball game leads to bans and cancellations. CBS 2's Nick Calloway reports there are ugly accusations about what just happened. An altercation between two players turns into a melee. Both teams' benches cleared, and so did the stands. Fans jumped in, people from Dumont, they jumped in, and then it escalated from there. It happened Tuesday night at Dwight Murrow High School in Englewood in a varsity game against Dumont High. Karan Pitts is a senior power forward for the Dwight Murrow Maroon Raiders. He and others at the game told CBS2 that white players for Dumont were yelling racial slurs at black members of the Dwight Murrow squad. The N-word, animals, monkeys, you know, that type of stuff. Pitts' father was at the game. He says he also heard those slurs. It's horrible, horrible. These times and days, still dealing with this for years now. As a result of the brawl, the game was canceled in the third quarter. Dwight Murrow High is also canceling the rest of the season for the varsity and JV basketball teams. It's a big blow to seniors like Pitts. It really hurts too because you know we worked we really worked hard this year. Players at Dwight Murrow say Dumont players should also have their season canceled for their role in the fight and for the alleged racial slurs. I called the superintendent's office here in Dumont to ask for comment. Someone who answered the phone said they had no comment and hung up on me multiple times. Back in Inglewood, the superintendent sent a letter to parents saying as a safety measure, spectators will not be permitted to attend the remaining winter events held at Dwight Murrow High School. Spectators can instead watch on YouTube. School officials say Inglewood police are investigating the fight. In Inglewood, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. The Englewood Police Department said in a statement that they're thoroughly investigating all aspects of the fight. Officers have been in contact with many people involved along with the Englewood Public School District staff and the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office.